Dear friend, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the controversy about doormats and how that doormat has insulted India. And uh, apparently um, this, this is a big deal and the foreign minister of India has to get involved and create a nuisance across the world. The, the issue here is that uh, this is a commercial transaction where people are voluntarily buying and selling uh, an image of the Indian flag just like they're selling, buying and selling images of other country flags. This is happening in a country outside India. India has no jurisdiction over that in the first place. People are free to transact uh, by voluntarily the symbols of anything that they like. So this could be a lot of Indians who are potentially buying these flags, uh, just like the Americans uh, who are patriots tend to buy the flags with the American symbol for the 4th of July and the British definitely buy these flags. Uh, flags which are you know they engage with the flag they, they they use the flag as a kind of a symbol of their group identity and it is found in all shapes and forms the the idea that we have here i think is the brahminical idea where the feet the feet or uh, you know they are considered dirty it is just like the dalits are considered dirty and i think i oppose the idea fundamentally that a doormat is in any way different to any other symbol of the flag people may use and engage the, with the flag in any form or shape. The idea of insult of the flag, assuming it was intended, is also uh, something that needs to be uh, confirmed. And if it was genuinely an insult, then we need to engage and find out why uh, the concerned producer was, insult, was deliberately insulting India. Uh, people have a right to insult uh, a country. They have a right to insult a religion. This is their fundamental right uh, to, uh, of free expression. We, we need to grow up as a nation and stop behaving like screeching monkeys. Only screeching monkeys uh, create this kind of a nuisance about what is a group identity. We are individuals. Uh, just because we are born in India does not mean that we have somehow to worship India. India as a nation we have created for a practical purpose, to look after law and order, security, justice, and to provide us the kind of public goods that we think we need. And for that we pay taxes, so we have a nation. Otherwise, even a nation can be questioned as, as, as the reason for its existence. But we have a nation for a certain reason. We doesn't, it does not mean that people who don't agree with a particular nation uh, don't have a right to talk about it or even insult it. The right to offend is a fundamental right of freedom, of expression. We need to grow up as a nation, stop behaving like screeching monkeys, and I would urge people to stop this uh, you know, lowering of India's image across the world as one of the groupy nations, as one of the tribal, backward, uh, and 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 un, un, uh, uncouth nations that takes offense at the slightest possible thing. We are behaving almost like the Islamic uh, fanatics. We are becoming fanatics for religion, for fanatics for nation. What is there to distinguish India uh, in, on the national international stage from uh, these other backward countries? We need to become at least as good as the American Americans are in terms of the respect for uh, freedom of expression. As one of the senior American uh, generals said, he fights for the right of other people to insult the flag, for the rights of Americans to, sit, to do what they want with the flag. He fights for that freedom. We are here busy trying to fight because we are insulted. It is, it is an ultimate sign of uh, you know, low IQ, low intellect, low caliber, uh, low emotional ability, inferiority complex to be insulted by such things. So I think um, my view is that pe people uh, listening to this, uh, please try to grow up. Uh, I think we have to grow up if we are to become an advanced nation. We cannot behave like a primitive tribal nation uh, in an age and an era where freedom has been proven to be the only remedy, only solution for producing prog uh, progress and prosperity. So with this, I, I request you to, to, to review any of your views in this regard and, and to get back to me uh, or have a discussion if you feel like. Thank you.